This offseason, the New York Rangers desperately need to find a true kind of top six or top line and caliber right winger to possibly go alongside Zabana Jan Kreider. And I think the best right winger available in free agency this offseason is Jonathan Marshall. So this guy is a phenomenal offensive talent. He's just a great offensive player and truly is a playoff performer as well, which is exactly what this Rangers team needs. This is not a guy who you know, kind of goes away or shies away in the playoffs. That's when he really kind of shines. And I think overall would just be a phenomenal fit on this team. Now, there's definitely going to be a big market for him. He's going to be, like I said, probably the top right wing available in free agency. So the Rangers would definitely be fighting with a few other teams I'd imagine to get him. But if they could sign Jonathan Marshall this offseason, it would be a huge win for this team. Now, right now, the Rangers do have 11.3 million dollars in cap space they've got some rfas to resign some ufas leaving but they definitely have enough room to possibly sign him and obviously make some other moves as well so we'll have to see what happens there but he would be a perfect pickup for this team in my opinion and jonathan is also like i said an elite playoff performer this is a guy who really kind of shines when the playoffs come he ended up winning the 2023 Stanley Cup with the Vegas Golden Knights for their first cup win in franchise history. And he ended up winning the Colin Smythe, which is the playoff MVP for his team on that route to the Stanley Cup win there. He was phenomenal and he was a huge, huge part of that. He was the MVP there of that playoff run and just played absolutely phenomenal. He's a good goal scorer, a good playmaker, just an all-around great offensive threat. And I think would be a great fit alongside Kreider and Zibanejad, who could possibly get split up next season. Maybe Kreider goes into the third line there to kind of spread out the scoring a bit. Zibanejad stays in that top line. Maybe we see something like that. That's a possibility, but assuming they stay together or really either way, I think Marshall would be a great fit on that top line or a wing spot. And obviously, yes, it kind of is the, the second line, you could say, with the Panarin, Trochik, and Lafreniere line being the top one. But you get what I'm saying here. One of the top six lines there, he would be a great fit on to go alongside possibly Zibanejad and Kreider. Taking a look now at kind of what he truly brings to this team if he were to get signed. Obviously, he doesn't have the uh, biggest size there, being five foot nine, 183 pounds. But I would say, especially for his size, he plays very physical. He's not some you know crazy kind of hitter out there. But especially being five nine, he definitely plays a pretty physical game, which is kind of nice. See, obviously, this Rangers team has been a bit soft at moments, and he's definitely not a soft player by any means. Also taking a look here, he is 34 years old in December. He's 33 right now. So he's definitely getting up there in age. So it wouldn't be a long-term contract. It'd be a pretty short-term deal, I would imagine. But he still would be a great fit no matter what. Jonathan is also a player who creates a ton of scoring chances for his team. He ended up creating a lot of high danger ones, but also medium danger ones as well. So he's just an all around great offensive player. He creates a lot of goals, you know, scores a lot of them as well. And he also is a great playmaker. So he's creating chances for other players. He's just an all around great offensive talent, you know, goal scoring wise and playmaking wise. He can set up players and score goals, which is a perfect fit for this team. I mean, if he is playing alongside guys like Zibanejad and Kreider possibly, He's obviously a good fit because he can also play make quite well, but also has that goal scoring touch, which is also a very good thing. I think he's just an all around, very smart and good offensive player. He's got very high hockey IQ, is a very just kind of smart and really great player offensively. And I think he's also a guy who really just makes a lot of the right reads and a lot of smart plays a lot of the time. So I think it would be a great fit to go alongside that line of Zabana Jack and Kreider. He's also a player who produces a ton at even strength at five on five. He gets a ton of his offensive production there, which is a big part, especially if you're going alongside guys like Zibanej and Kreider. They at moments can definitely struggle to score at even strength. So having a guy like this, Jonathan Marceau, who can get the job done at even strength would be a huge addition to that line, I think, especially if they are sticking together. Adding a guy like this could really kind of help the overall even strength production offensively out of those guys. As this season, he ended up finishing tied for 31st in the entire NHL at even strength scoring for 52 total points at even strength alongside guys like breakout star Wyatt Johnston, Brady Kachuk, Jason Robertson, Vincent Trojan, check who we all know quite well i think this is a guy who just clearly would be a great fit on this team because he's not just some power play merchant where he's getting most of his points done on the power play he gets most of it done at even strength which has been a bit of an issue at times for this rangers team adding him in could be a perfect fit for this squad who needs a true top line caliber right winger which is exactly what jonathan is 
And once again, talking about his offensive production, add even the strength as well, he ended up finishing 7th place in the entire NHL for goals scored at even strength last season alongside guys like Philip Forsberg and David Poshnok who had one more even strength goal than him and guys like Crosby who had two less and Braden Point and Nikita Kucherov who had three less. So he was among some phenomenal players who are great goal scorers and he was definitely one of the best goal scorers at even the strength last season in the entire NHL. Now let's take a look here at his overall offensive production in the regular season ended up having 82 games played 42 goals which was a career high as well as 27 assists for 69 total points. He was absolutely phenomenal ended up having 107 hits which was a career high as well. So like I was saying he's not the biggest guy in the world at 5'9 but he definitely plays pretty physical for that size. Last season ended up having 76 games played 57 points. The season before that had 76 games played 66 points. So he's an all-around great offensive player, can score goals, can play make. And over his entire NHL career, he does have three seasons with at least 30 goals or more. And he also does have six seasons with at least 25 goals or more. And two of those 30 goal seasons were in the last three seasons as well. Now taking a look here at the overall playoff stats so far. And like I said at the start of the video, he is a phenomenal playoff performer. This is a guy who really elevates his game once it comes to the playoffs. As this past season, he ended up having seven games played, two goals, two assists, four points. Nothing too special, but not too bad. But you take a look at what he did the previous season back in 2022, 2023. He ended up having 22 games played, 13 goals, 12 assists for 25 total points. He was absolutely amazing. And you take a look at what he did back in 2017, 18, the Vegas Golden Knights first ever you know, season as a team. He ended up helping them make the playoffs there and ended up having 20 games played in the playoffs. 8 goals, 13 assists for 21 total points. And over his entire NHL career in the playoffs, he has 102 games played, 36 goals, 40 assists for 76 total points. Those are some phenomenal playoff numbers. And having two seasons in the playoffs of having 20 points or more is honestly just insane. He's an incredible playoff performer, which is exactly what this Rangers team needs. He's also got a ton of playoff experience, 103 games. He's been there, done that. He's won a cup. He's been to the finals another time. I mean, he is just an unreal player and truly has so much experience. Would be a perfect fit on this Rangers team. Now taking a look at what his previous contract was that just finished. He had a six-year deal with a $5 million cap hit per season. For what he brings, that is very, very good. And taking a look at what his next possible contract could be, though, because he is a guy who was a obviously phenomenal player, a top-line level talent, a true you know top six right winger in the NHL on pretty much every team in the NHL for the most part. But the one thing is, is the fact that he is 33 years old, turning 34 in December. He's going to be 34 next season. He's getting up there in age. He's not going to get some crazy long-term contract. And he's also not going to get some, you know, super high AAV or you know, average annual value if he was, you know, like a 27-year-old kind of guy. So I think this is someone who's going to get paid a lot, but it's not going to be something too crazy where the Rangers are going to get priced out, I don't think. It's going to be a lot, though, and it definitely will be quite a bit for the Rangers even because we're not in the best, you know, spot cap space wise right now but i think it's gonna be something around a three-year deal which i'm pretty certain on but the cap hit could be something around 6.25 million is kind of what i'm guessing i think it's going to be a bit over 6 million but it's not going to be too much more than that i don't see him getting you know 7 mil per season unless it's like a two-year deal so if it's a three-year deal which i'm kind of guessing it's going to be I'd imagine the cap hit would be about 6 mil to like 6.75 at the very most. But if it is a short-term deal, like a two-year deal, which is possible, but I'm guessing he's going to want a bit of a, a longer-term deal than two-year deal, probably around a three. If it is a two, though, I could see it being, you know, 7.25 or something like that. But like I said, if it's a three-year deal, it's probably going to be something around that 6 mil mark or just a bit above that. Anyways, though, let me know in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on Jonathan Marsh? So as a player, do you think he'd be good fit on this team? And what do you think his next contract could possibly be? And would you be willing to offer him around a three-year deal at about $6 million per season? Something around there, 6.25, 6.5. What would you offer him? Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for daily New York Rangers content. Smash the like button. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.